I think my experience in, in college is really what what's going to give me the um, – you know, the wherewithal to put this team in a position to win championships. Um, you know, the goalkeeper thing for me, I was a goalkeeper, so that's easy. It's positional training. Uh, but for me, what I, what I enjoy is the is the functional part of the game, situational soccer. You know, how do we defend in, in certain areas of the field? How do we attack in certain areas of the field? Uh, how do we transition? Those things are important to me. And, and uh, just being in the game, you know, now uh, this will be my 15th preseason through being a player and a, and a college at, uh, player at the college level. Um, so for me, it's 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 part of the course, right? And understanding the the needs of the players from a fitness standpoint, but but needs of the players from a relationship standpoint. It's different now, and I think my experience um, being a little bit on the younger side and being able to connect with the players of this generation, I think is is probably my most uh, vital asset. I would say there's a lot of upside here. I was really both Adam and I are pleasantly surprised with the returning group, how focused and fit and committed uh, to the process they are. We're also extremely excited about. You know all the returning or all the the recruiting players that we brought in in this short amount of time. So all of that is exciting. Uh, there certainly was some nerves the first day, but you know when you address the team for the first time, that's it. Like you're you're out of the gate, and you know every day we're on show, we're working, we're trying to put this team in a position to win championships. So I think uh, from from the perspective of, of a college soccer coach, Northern provides everything that that I believe we need to win a championship. You know from the resources to the facilities, um, but number one thing is the the players. They're great people. They're great kids. They work hard. They've been very coachable so far. So the 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 ceiling is very high from from what we have today. Uh, and today, I feel like is a team that can compete for a GLIAC championship this season. So that's what we're that's what we're aiming to do. Based on our unity and our togetherness, I think that's our our strongest asset. Uh, like I said, the returning guys are very hungry to uh, kind of wash away the past um, last season, the seasons before. They're they're hungry for success. Um, so they're extremely focused and ready and together as well as the newcomers um, that are very excited about what we're bringing as a staff in terms of our philosophy around the game, how we want to approach the day in and day out training, um, our drive for championships. So everybody's really very excited. So our biggest asset I think is our togetherness and how connected we are as a team so early on in the process being only you know, a week and some days in. So that's our biggest strength from, from a tactical standpoint. Um, I think you'd have to give a, our strength to probably our central midfield depth right now. Um, we've got a lot of experience, some age. Uh, we've got brought a transfer in from Wright State Division One, so we have a lot of uh, of years in, in, in college soccer in central midfield. Um, I think our back line is probably our weakest in terms of depth of numbers, uh, but not the weakest in ability for sure. Um, and now with the players that we've brought in and some of the guys that have surprised us in preseason, we feel a lot better about our attack. So we feel like we can actually be a pretty balanced team, which coming into year one and obviously a very short recruiting cycle in two months, um, being a balanced team this, this early on is very exciting because that's what you always strive to be. You want to be balanced. You want to be good on attack. You want to be good in defense. You want to be good in transition. You want to be good on the left. You want to be good on the right. Uh, and we feel like we can do that year one. So we just got to put in the work. And, and then obviously it takes time to gel, and, and we have that time. So we'll keep pushing. You know, having a head coach as a, also a goalkeeper coach um, is going to be really good for these guys, mainly from a situational standpoint, not just that you can de develop technique. Anybody can serve or shoot you the ball. But uh, from a positioning standpoint, awareness standpoint, building out and, and helping us attack, um, it's going to be massive for them. I'm very excited about all four of them. As a goalkeeper in core, it's very strong from front to back. If you look at, like, the depth, it's like a quarterback depth chart. Um, and if you go from one to four, it's actually one of the stronger cores that I've ever had in terms of, like I said, the full range. So I'm really happy with their work rate, how together they are, and the competition is very strong.